Good afternoon everyone, I am back today to talk about cleaning. It's the job that has to be done um, and quite frankly it's not my favourite job. I would rather be planning than cleaning but someone has to do it and around here that person is me. So I decided to get my act together and find a good cleaning schedule that would work for me and I found the fly lady. So in my um, bullet journal you can hear the guinea pigs, sorry, they're right next to me. In my bullet journal, I have two pages set up that uh, capture my cleaning jobs. So the first side, the Fly Lady schedule page, I have the five different zones that she has set up. So it's like um, a rolling schedule. Uh, every week, the zone changes from zone one to zone five. Um, and in each of those zones you concentrate on a different thing um, she has um, a detailed cleaning list which is basically what I've got here and then also she has um, like a little mini mission of the day so it might be to do something like um, for the kitchen which is the week we're in now it might be go under the sink and just check all your cleaning products make sure that you know there's nothing you're running low on um, a random thing like that so um, I'll link um, her page at the bottom of this video but I'll basically just talk you through the things that I've got on so zone one is the hall and dining room um so things uh, like you know you can read it here but it's just a basic list of making sure that the front door's clean dusting wiping um mirrors in the dining room dust thorough clean of the table chairs mop sweep vacuum underneath the um cushions of the sofa um, so what I do each week I follow the list that I have got here so this week is the kitchen week so it's things like you know making sure that you thoroughly empty out the fridge and give it a good deep clean check the food that's in there make sure everything is in date um, then you know an extra thorough clean of the microwave and the oven um, and just the things like um, cleaning the hob and the hood you know the hob gets cleaned you know quite regularly but the glass hood not so much um, so each week I go through and I focus on each different bit so zone one hall and dining room uh, zone two kitchen zone three um, the bathrooms and the kids bedrooms um, what I what I tend to do to be honest though I've got the bathrooms in the kids bedrooms so with the bathrooms I do the main family bathroom the downstairs bathroom um, and then with the en suite uh, I tend to do it when I'm doing the master bedroom uh, but just a list there for the bathrooms and the kids bedrooms uh, then the master bedroom but then I tend to just in fact I have got it listed here uh, the sink the loo the mirrors in the ensuite um, then zone five is the lounge and then I also have written down um, the ensuite down here as well in case I don't get a chance to get to it on uh, zone three because zone five it's not it, there's not that much to do in the lounge so if I manage to do it in zone three great if not then I'll do it in zone five or I might do it zone three and zone five because you know it, it's good to do so those are the five zones and then what I also have to do as well as concentrate on each of those things is a weekly list so this is just a basic list each week I need to be making sure that the lounge is tidied, swept, mopped, vacked, the bins are emptied and a quick dust. Same in the bedrooms. Uh, so it's just making sure that everywhere's basically tidied, vacked, a quick dust, any bins that are in those rooms are emptied. Kitchen, I mean, you know, that gets done like on a daily basis anyway, but making sure that everything's like nice and clean, wiped down. Um, the recycling's done, you know, all the recycling bins have had a good thorough clean and everything's nice and not sterile, but everything's not germ ridden. Then the dining room, again, you know, this is the room that I'm in all the time, so it's always done like these two really on a daily basis. Um, and then the pantry is tidied away, there's not extra things in there that shouldn't be in there, and the shoe cupboard just gets 
a tidy to make sure that there are no um, the kids are not great at getting the shoes away properly so making sure that you know things are just getting tidied and it doesn't get overwhelming um so those are those jobs and then um on a monthly basis some of these things are picked up on the other side but just so i know i can look down and look and make sure you know the stairs have had a thorough dust all the windows have been cleaned everywhere the ovens had a thorough clean but that would have been picked up in zone two which is this week anyway um the bath mats have all had a wash uh toys make sure that all the toys have been uh, sorted out if there's any that are broken then I would throw them away. Vac the sofas, so make sure that the Chesterfield has had a vac because it's got you know the little um, button um, where the the leather's buttoned in, so that like always gets really dirty. And also the um, sofa in the lounge, make sure that the cushions are pulled away and vacked. Uh, make sure that the front door has had a wipe down, uh, make the, and then the pantry and the shoe cupboard are picked up here anyway but just to make sure that those are done so those are my list of jobs and then I'll just make sure that each month they're all ticked off and um, so basically things are duplicated sometimes but I don't mind so I'm, I know what I've got to do in my zone too and in fact I've been really good today I had some spare time so I've managed to get it done so it's Monday my zone two fridge has been emptied and cleaned microwave and oven have been done the counter stores hob and hood have all had a thorough clean uh, the windows have been cleaned and the, the sink has been tidied all the appliances have had a really good clean down everywhere has been mopped and swept and the recycling has been done the bins have been emptied and cleaned um so that is zone two done so now for the rest of the week my additional jobs will just be keep on top of the lounge the bedrooms i've already been around today i've tidied racked i've emptied everything done the mirrors that is done got the bathrooms to sort out obviously the kitchen would have been picked up because i've done it there um and then the dining room keep on top of but these things will be done every single day anyway so the reality is all i've really got to do now for the rest of the week keep on top of these two the baths need cleaning and the lounge just needs to be sorted out so it's monday and because of some free time that i got thanks to my mum um, I am ahead. Um, so as I say, I will link everything for the flyer lady down below. Um, if you're struggling to keep on top of your cleaning, if you feel like it's getting you down, really recommend going and checking her out. Um, because even my husband has said since I've been doing this um, schedule, he has noticed that the house has been a lot cleaner. Um, so that's praise indeed from my husband who doesn't give out praise very often at all. Um, go and check her out. Hope this has been of some interest to you and I will see you soon. Bye.